Tencent's open source Huan Yuan video model, with over 1.3 billion parameters, has become the largest open source video generation model to date. After several weeks of testing and comparison with COG Video X, LTXV, Machi, and others, I believe it is indeed the leader in this field, video generation on local consumer grade GPUs. To back up my claim, let me show you some videos I generated. Just casually generating a girl, she looks very realistic. Then, another one with rich expressions. Let's make Einstein stick out his tongue. How about a little appearance from Musk? No issues with multi-angle shots. Vertical orientation works well too. It can also work with character Laura and style Laura. Not only is the video quality high, but this model is also very user-friendly. The entry barrier is surprisingly low. Even with just the native Comfy UI nodes and 8GB of VRAM, it runs smoothly. In this video, I will provide a detailed demonstration and answer the following questions. What are its features? How much system resources does it require? What are its advantages and disadvantages compared to models like CogVideoX, Machi, and LTXV? How to set parameters? Are there any tips during use? Let's get started. Currently, only the text-to-video model has been released. In my previous demonstrations with CogVideoX and LTXV, image-to-video generation wasn't supported. As far as I know, a new model supporting this feature will be released in Q1, 2025. It may also provide video-to-image generation with control, which means lip portrait and mimic motion might be phased out. Although there's only one model for now, there are several different model files available, including the original BF16, official and Kajak converted FP8, City96 converted GUF, and the fast version by Fast Video. Some require special plugins or workflows to run. After the demonstration, you can choose the model that suits you. All the different types of models should be placed in the model slash diffuser underscore models directory. When you open Comfy UI, the first thing is to update. The official Comfy UI made many modifications in December to support who and you in video, so make sure your version is after December 22nd. My Comfy UI version is version 3.0.10, which works fine. We will install the plugins later. For now, let's try the native workflow provided by Comfy UI. Select the model, clip, and VAE as per your local setup since everyone's saved file names might be different. Don't change any other parameters, just run it. After a moment, the result is out. This node doesn't auto-adjust video size, so I manually click to fit the video. This is Comfy UI's iconic cute fox girl dancing and the entire turnaround process is smooth, with no issues with her hands, legs, or tail. By the way, she just celebrated her second birthday the other day. If it fails here, and it's not an out-of-memory, OOM, issue, it's usually an error with the sampling node. Two possibilities, either your comfy UI version is outdated or the model file is incorrect. If OOM occurs during decoding, try lowering some parameters. If it's during sampling, refer to the video where I demonstrate more ways to reduce resource usage. For better results, I swapped the SaveWeb node with the Video Combine node to generate an MP4 video. This node is part of Comfy UI Video Helper and can be installed via Manager. I'll change the prompt to generate a lady working hard at a computer in an office, just like me. Note that each model has different preferences for prompts. Who in you in video doesn't have as strict requirements as LTXV. The official team provides a large language model prompt, which is very simple. To summarize, two to three short sentences in English. Never write long paragraphs, if the token count exceeds 250, it's easy to generate overexposed videos, which will look poor. Who in you in video model doesn't have a minimum frame number limit, unlike anime diff. When generating just one frame, it's equivalent to a text-to-image generation, which can be used to verify whether the model understands the input prompt. I changed the resolution to 960 by 544, 
set the frame count to 1, and fix a preferred seed for later comparison. After running, a picture of an office lady working diligently pops up. The quality is great, and unlike Flux, the face doesn't have that strong AI look. Since the model understands our prompt, let's generate a video. However, frame count affects the sampling process, so the video content may differ from the image. Resolution stays the same, but the frame count increases to 65, and steps are set to 30. Run it. Used to LTXV speed, with Huan Yu and video, we'll need to wait for a bit of time, so let's speed it up. On the 4090, it took a bit over 5 minutes. The preview effect is average, so I opened a separate tab. Video quality is great, and the characters are very realistic, like a scene from a TV show. Looks like the 5 minute wait was worth it. Some might say, you said 8GB VRAM would be enough, but you're struggling even on the 4090? That's because the original model is loaded in the default way, BF16. Let's reduce the load from the model. The easiest way is to still use the original model, but switch the load type to FP8 underscore E4M3 FN underscore fast. With the same parameters, I run it again. And notice a significant reduction in VRAM usage. Compared to the original BF16 model, the effect is pretty much the same. For better efficiency, in the following demonstrations, I'll use this load type. Not only can we generate regular people, but this prompt also recognizes many famous figures. You've probably seen the picture of Einstein sticking out his tongue. Let's generate a similar video. Change the prompt and run it. The great scientist is quite playful. Modern people work too. Let's change the prompt to Musk. It looks great, and with the right voiceover, wouldn't it feel perfect if he reduced the price of Tesla? Unfortunately, it doesn't recognize some Chinese celebrities well. I tried Tang Wei and Louis Fei, but they didn't look like them at all. You can also use multi-angle prompts in Huan Yuan video. This prompt describes two distinct scenes. The first is a woman being chased in the forest, with a fearful and exhausted expression. Then, using camera then switches to. The second scene switches to a killer with an evil smile preparing to strike. After running it, the model generates a video with a clear camera switch. You're probably eager to try it out yourself. But hold on, let's discuss the parameters first. Switch back to the previous prompt and take a look at the resolution. The official recommended resolution is like this, but it's not so strict. You can freely customize it, like generating a 320x240 small video or a 512x512 square video. I'll run a 512x512 version. Two things to note, the larger the resolution, the higher the VRAM requirement, and the longer the generation time, if the aspect ratio is too extreme, you may get artifacts in the long areas. Look, the unconventional resolution video is coming out fine. I'll revert the resolution back for further tests. Frame count, length, is another important parameter. As long as it meets the 4n plus 1 rule, like 9, 25, 49, 125, etc., you can set it freely. But anything over 200 frames will just repeat the same frames, and the VRAM requirement will increase with more frames. Sampling methods offer a variety of choices. Apart from Euler Simple, 
dpmpp underscore 2m slash beta and dpmpp underscore 2s underscore ancestral slash beta also work well. It's hard to say which is better, but if you compare, the latter set has more noticeable differences. The characters are more refined, and the background blur is minimal, with more obvious motion. Steps are usually set to 30. If you want it faster, set it to 20. For better quality, go to 50 steps. More steps aren't worth it. Generally speaking, the video won't change drastically. Just small differences in detail. For example, with 20 steps, the background is blurry, while with 50 steps, the face and sweater of the character are more detailed. I still prefer running 50 steps if possible, though more steps will increase VRAM usage and significantly raise wait time. Mode sampling. 30 or 50 steps can set it to 7, but if you have 20 or fewer steps, it's recommended to set it to 9. In previous models like LTXV or CogVideo X, we could enhance the result with STG, but in Huan Yuan Video, it's not recommended as it significantly slows down sampling, and the effect isn't better than simply increasing the steps. In Huan Yuan Video, you can use Enhance underscore A underscore video. The example effects on the release page are good. There's a plug and play node in the Comfy UI Hanyuan Lum plugin that implements this function. Note that it hasn't been added to the manager yet, so you need to use git clone or download the zip and manually install it to the custom nodes directory. I've already installed it. So let's give it a try. Add the HYFETA enhance node. Keep the default parameters and connect it after the load diffusion model node. Run it. And honestly, I can't see much difference. Maybe the original video quality was so good that there wasn't much room for improvement. But at least it didn't make things worse. Sampling time and VRAM usage didn't increase, so I'll keep it. Earlier, I used the FP8 mode to load the original model, but you can also directly download the FP8 version of the model. Let's run it. The result is the same as before. If you want to use even less VRAM, you can choose the GGUF model. Add the unet loader, GGUF, node. Remember to install the GGUF plugin via manager first. I'll select the Q5-K-S model, which size is less than 9GB. Replace the model connection and run it. Let's check the VRAM usage and it's clear that GGUF uses less resource. Looking at the finished video, I believe the quality is completely acceptable. Everyone can choose to download a model that better suits their resources and quality requirements. I'll switch the model back and continue demonstrating. Huan Yu in video also supports LoRa, and it's quite easy to use. You just need to add a load lower model only node to complete the connection. Let me introduce a different LoRa, called Fast Video LoRa. It supports using lower sampling steps to achieve nearly the same video quality. The official recommended parameters are as follows. But I prefer the combination of steps 8, shift 17, and guidance 8. Let's run it. Check the result. Running with only 8 steps indeed speeds things up a lot, but it feels a bit blurry. 12 steps or more would be much better. This is a comparison of the sampling speeds of different models in this video. As you can see, fast video is indeed fast. There are also some LORAS that conveniently generate specific characters or styles. Let's load a Jinx LORA, this character. I just ran fast video, modified the guidance and model sampling values, and now I'll switch it back.
Let's change the prompt to generate a video of her playing the violin, with the steps back to 30. No problem at all. The normally lively and active Jinx has such a calm side too. If Laura wasn't used, the model wouldn't recognize Jinx. Let's disable Laura and run it again. Now, it's just a blue-haired lady playing the violin. Let's try another Hanfu style, Laura. I'll change the prompt to the recommended one and run it. It generates a beautiful girl in Hanfu walking alone in a bamboo forest, with her hairstyle and outfit perfectly matching. She looks like she just walked out of a historical drama. That concludes the demonstration. All the actions I performed used the native Comfy UI and plugins that don't require dependencies. However, the open source community's support for Huanyuan video goes far beyond that. For example, the FlowEdit function in the Huanyuan Loom plugin. However, I found the effect to be average, and achieving a good result often requires numerous attempts. You can also install Kajai's Hunyuan Wrapper plugin, which supports V2V, Video to Image, and IP2V, First Frame to Video Conversion, along with different video generation acceleration methods. But many of its features are based on Torch 2.5.1 plus CU124, also might not be compatible with non-40 series GPUs, so be cautious when using it. To summarize, Huanyu in Video is currently the open source text to video model with the best finished quality, and it can run on as little as 8GB of VRAM. The obvious drawbacks are it doesn't support image to video generation, it's slow, and the maximum frame count is only 200, longer frames will just repeat. According to Tencent's release plan, we should be able to use the official image to video model in Q1 this year. Looking forward to that day arriving soon. That's it for today's video. You can find the models, workflows, and plugins mentioned in the description. See you next time.